Maple Nation Podcast, episode 277, three games using tile placement. Welcome, citizens of Maple Nation. For the next 30 minutes, sit back and enjoy. We are your hosts of Maple Nation. I'm Logan Howard. I'm Nathan Howard. And I'm Ryan DeCaria. And we're talking about tile placement games, but more of like our favorite tile placement games this week. Not necessarily, not necessarily our favorite, yeah, right? Not necessarily our favorite. We wanted to highlight a game each that really used the mechanic in, in a kind of a cool way. And so I think that's where that's why I picked the one I picked. And that's why I picked the one I picked too. I picked the, well the one that I picked. It's Escape. Spoiler alert. We're going to talk about it, but it's one I played probably the most, but mm-hmm. I, I really like the aspect of what makes it different, too. The game is, so they have two of them. The one I played, actually, is Escape Zombie City, but the original one is Escape the Curse of the Temple. They're both designed by Kristan Otsby by Queen Games. The original one is one to five players. Escape Zombie City is one to four, and they play in ten minutes, which I think is great. Well, I Zombie City is 15 minutes, but... And it plays in real time, right? You, yes. You have I, a, is it a, a, a soundtrack that you yeah, buy? Yeah, you have a download soundtrack. So, you, you know, back in the day when the first game came out, they had a CD that you could put in. I remember playing it with Nathan. And Still a CD player in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not plugged in, hasn't been plugged in for a long time. but For, yeah. for years, probably like five years or right? yeah. <laughs> more. And it's still in the, the CD player. That's yeah. awesome. Well, yeah, everybody starts at this neutral location at the beginning, and then you have a set of dice that you have to roll. And so you have the different faces that you can get. So you have like the gold face, the red face, the green face. I can't remember what the symbols are for the original one. So and in the original one, you have uh, you have the gold face and the black face. So the the curse mask is the black face, and the golden mask is uh, the golden mask, oddly enough. And then there's a red torch and the blue key and the green adventure. And so you need to roll certain things to explore tiles. I believe it was two green ones to explore a new tile in the original one. Mm -hmm. And then everything's... It's kind of chaotic because it's all going on at the same time because the soundtrack says, Escape! And then you have to try to escape and you have to try to go and explore and find these artifacts so then you can find the exit. And then it's after a few minutes, it gives you this little gong and this timer where you actually have to go back to the center. Otherwise, you you lose a dice for the next half of the game. And it's it's exciting. It's all chaotic. And what's bad is if you get that cursed face that you were talking about, Nathan, then your dice are locked up and you can't use it. And so you have to roll a gold die to unlock two of your other dice. But then if all of your black dice get locked up, you have to like tell people like, oh, hey, you have to come save me and roll some gold dice. And sometimes they get locked up on their way to you. And there's just a lot going on in that game. I, I love the kind of chaotic of it so this is simultaneous play so you're all rolling dice at the same time and you're moving and you're exploring tiles and when you can explore and you roll the dice right you just grab a tile and you put it down everyone's kind of sometimes you spread out sometimes you kind of clump together but you're searching for certain tiles to come out and you have to go through many tiles to get to where you can get the different ones that you want to find to win the game right and it's also cooperative so you all have that common goal of getting the treasure and getting out again. Yeah, if one time person escapes and everybody else gets stuck in the temple, then everybody loses. It's not just one person wins. Right. So in the base game, you're looking, trying to get magic gems. Some of those tiles that you're going to flip over are going to have uh, locations that have magic gems. You're going to use, you're going to roll dice to try to uh, match the requirement to obtain those magic gems. And uh, if you like you were saying, Ryan, if you're in the same room, the players can work together and they can combine their their dice. If one player's dice get on or get locked, the other place player's gold masks could unlock those cursed masks. Or if they're off on their own doing their same thing, and so kind of sometimes you go off, you spread off, so you you know what's there, and then after that first gong, then you go out and try to get as many gems. And then uh, what you need to do is you have to find that exit. And then once you get to that exit, all the players need to roll the, I believe it's the adventure face on the die. Nope, it's keys. You need to roll keys equal to or greater than the number of magic gems that haven't been found. So if you can find the most of, if you can find most all of them, then all you need to do is roll one blue key. But you can escape 
if you have if you still have five magic gems, time's running out, and you're like, oh, great, great, I'm gonna go there. And once one person will roll those, they can actually once one person escapes, they can pass the remaining dice that they have to another player. And then that player can roll and then pass all the remaining dice to another player. And so that they can try to escape. Because if you don't, it's like Ryan said, it's a, it's a cooperative game. So if not everybody escapes, then nobody wins. Right. And Escape Zombie City, they've changed something slightly with it. So instead of trying to find gems, you're trying to scavenge in the city for supplies. And so you have to like go to the hospital, and the hospital has 